question. Thank you, um, Mr. Chairman. Um, if this were allowed to pass and these local districts popped up across the state, it does impact MFP dollars, does it not? Because MFP dollars would be reduced based on the number of school districts that are in the formula, which, is, which happens right now. So that money is spread out then not over 70 school districts as it is right now, but over the number of school districts that would be created. So in my thought process, the reason that it was voted on statewide is because statewide every school district was affected by it and will be affected by it. I think, I don't know that that's the case, but if it is, I'm sure it's minimal. We can go back and look at historical data and see about the three uh, districts that were created in East Baton Rouge Parish. I'm not aware of them having an effect on the MFP funds received in areas outside of East Baton Rouge Parish, but I'll certainly yeah. look into it. I think that you would look, if you look at the MFP formula, when new districts are created, there are reductions that in order for those to be created, the money, you only put a certain pot of money into MFP. And when you put that certain pot of money in there, it's divided among the districts that are there. So it has to be that it's reduced per school district by the number of the dollars that are in the MFP formula. That's only logical. So when you add more, then you need to see that the state portion is probably going to be reduced. Thank you. Thank you. Representative Shadowin for a question. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Representative Seaball, in light of uh, education bills that have been passed and the way the MFP is funding, do I understand that the MFP dollars follows the individual student? That's correct. So whether we have 68 districts or 168 districts, it's going to attach to those students we are trying to educate. Is that correct? I believe that's correct. Now, I, I, the scenario that Representative Smith just laid out, I, I'm honestly not sure. Right, and I'm My not understanding either. is it follows the students, and if the students are in a different area, then the money would just go to the new area, that there wouldn't be a percentage or proportional reduction anywhere else. Yeah, I mean, she made a good point, and I, I was not sure myself. So thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Th thank you.